In the heart of Ravenwood Forest, where the shadows danced among ancient trees and whispers lingered in the air like ghosts of the past, there stood a campsite forgotten by time. Its name, whispered in hushed tones by locals and travelers alike, was synonymous with fear and dread. A group of friends, drawn by tales of the campsite's dark history, decided to spend a weekend camping in Ravenwood Forest. Ignoring the warnings of the locals, they set up their tents beneath the towering trees, their laughter ringing out in the stillness of the forest. As night fell, the atmosphere in the campsite shifted, the air thick with an unnatural chill that sent shivers down their spines. Shadows danced among the trees, their movements fluid and sinister, while whispers seemed to echo from the very depths of the forest. Despite their growing unease, the friends brushed aside their fears, attributing the eerie atmosphere to the natural ambience of the forest. But as the night wore on, their bravado waned, replaced by a sense of dread that clung to them like a suffocating blanket. Then, just as they were about to retire for the night, they heard it the sound of footsteps crunching on dry leaves, growing steadily louder as they approached the campsite. Panic seized the group as they huddled together, their eyes wide with terror as they searched the darkness for any sign of the intruder. But the footsteps continued, drawing closer and closer until they seemed to surround the campsite on all sides. And then, just as suddenly as they had begun, they stopped, leaving behind an eerie silence that seemed to stretch on for eternity. With trembling hands, they stoked the fire, seeking solace in its flickering warmth as they tried to make sense of the strange events unfolding around them. But their efforts were in vain, for the darkness had already taken root in their hearts, feeding on their fears and growing stronger with each passing moment. As the night wore on, the whispers grew louder, their voices filled with malice and menace as they taunted the friends with their cryptic words. Shadows danced among the trees, twisting and writhing in the moonlight, while unseen forces seemed to press in on them from all sides. In a desperate bid to escape the encroaching darkness, they made a fateful decision to leave the safety of their campsite and venture deeper into the forest. With flashlights in hand, they stumbled through the undergrowth, their hearts pounding in their chests as they fought to outrun the horrors that pursued them. But Ravenwood Forest was a maze of twisted paths and hidden dangers, and with each step they took, they found themselves drawn further into its clutches. The whispers grew louder, their voices filling the air with their hateful words, while shadows flitted through the trees, their movements swift and elusive. And then, just when all hope seemed lost, they stumbled upon an ancient ruin hidden deep within the heart of the forest. Its crumbling walls stood as a testament to the passage of time, while strange symbols adorned its weathered surface, their meaning lost to the ages. With nowhere else to turn, they sought refuge within the shelter of the ruin, their hearts pounding in their chests as they waited for the inevitable. But to their astonishment, the whispers ceased, replaced by an eerie silence that seemed to stretch on for eternity. For hours, they waited, their senses on high alert as they braced themselves for the horrors that lurked in the darkness outside. But as the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, they dared to hope that they had survived the night and scathed. As they emerged from the ruin, blinking in the pale light of dawn, they found themselves standing on the edge of a clearing bathed in sunlight. The trees around them stood tall and silent, their branches swaying gently in the morning breeze as if rejoicing in the newfound peace that had descended upon the forest. With trembling hands and hearts filled with gratitude, they made their way out of Ravenwood Forest, vowing never to return to the haunted woods that had nearly claimed their lives. But even as they left the forest behind, they knew that its memory would linger with them forever, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of unspeakable horror. As they emerged from Ravenwood Forest, the group found themselves haunted by the memories of their harrowing ordeal. The whispers and shadows of the forest seemed to linger at the edge of their consciousness, a constant reminder of the darkness they had faced within its depths. Despite their best efforts to put the past behind them, the experience had left an indelible mark on each member of the group. Sleepless nights were spent tossing and turning, plagued by nightmares filled with whispers and shadows that seemed all too real. Determined to make sense of their experience, the group began to research the history of Ravenwood Forest, delving into old archives and dusty tomes in search of answers. But the more they learned, 
the more questions arose, leading them deeper into the mysteries that shrouded the forest in darkness. Their investigations uncovered tales of ancient curses and forgotten rituals, of spirits trapped between worlds and vengeful entities seeking retribution for past wrongs. And as they pieced together the fragments of the past, they began to realize that the horrors they had faced were only the beginning of a much larger story. Driven by a newfound sense of purpose, the group returned to Ravenwood Forest, determined to uncover the truth behind the whispers and shadows that haunted its ancient depths. Armed with knowledge and resolve, they ventured forth into the heart of the forest once more, ready to confront whatever dark secrets lay hidden within. But Ravenwood Forest was not so easily tamed. With each step they took, the forest seemed to push back, its ancient trees twisting and contorting in unnatural ways as if to ward them off. Whispers filled the air, their voices growing louder and more insistent with each passing moment. Undeterred, the group pressed on, their determination unyielding in the face of the forest's malevolent presence. They searched every corner of the forest, uncovering hidden passages and ancient ruins that spoke of a past steeped in darkness and despair. And then, just when they thought they had uncovered all there was to know, they stumbled upon a hidden glade deep within the heart of Ravenwood Forest. At its center stood an ancient altar, its stone surface etched with strange symbols and glyphs. As they approached the altar, a sense of dread washed over them, filling their hearts with an icy coldness that seemed to seep into their very bones. And then, with a deafening roar, the ground beneath their feet began to shake, the forest itself rising up to confront them in a display of raw power and fury. In a desperate bid to escape, the group fought back against the encroaching darkness, their voices raised in defiance against the forces that sought to consume them. Spells were cast, and weapons drawn as they battled against the darkness with all the strength and courage they could muster. And then, with a blinding flash of light, the darkness was banished, its malevolent presence dissipated like morning mist in the light of dawn. The forest sighed with relief, its ancient trees swaying gently in the breeze as if rejoicing in their newfound freedom. As the last echoes of battle faded into the stillness of the forest, the group stood victorious, their hearts filled with pride at having overcome the darkness that had threatened to consume them. And as they looked out upon the newly cleansed Ravenwood Forest, they knew that their journey was far from over. For though the darkness had been vanquished, the forest still held many secrets waiting to be uncovered, mysteries waiting to be unraveled by those brave enough to seek them out. And as they turned their backs on the haunted woods, they knew that they would return one day, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead with courage and determination. But for now, they basked in the glow of their hard-won victory, their spirits lifted by the knowledge that they had faced their fears and emerged stronger for it. And as they disappeared into the dappled light of the forest, their laughter ringing out in the stillness of the woods, they knew that they would always carry with them the memory of their journey through the haunted depths of Ravenwood Forest. As they emerged from Ravenwood Forest, their minds still reeling from the intensity of their encounter, the group found themselves changed in ways they could not fully comprehend. The whispers and shadows of the forest seemed to have woven themselves into the fabric of their souls, leaving behind an indelible mark that would forever shape their lives. Despite their best efforts to move on, the memories of their journey through Ravenwood Forest lingered with them, a constant reminder of the darkness they had faced and the strength they had found within themselves to overcome it. Sleepless nights were spent reliving the horrors they had witnessed, their dreams haunted by the whispers and shadows that had plagued them in the forest. Determined to make sense of their experience, the group continued their research into the mysteries of Ravenwood Forest, delving deeper into its dark history in search of answers. Their investigations led them down paths both literal and metaphorical, uncovering secrets that had long been buried beneath layers of myth and legend. But the more they learned, the more they realized that the true nature of Ravenwood Forest was far more complex and enigmatic than they had ever imagined. It was a place of ancient power and primordial magic, where the boundaries between the mortal realm and the world of spirits grew thin and porous. Driven by a newfound sense of purpose, the group returned to Ravenwood Forest time and time again, each journey bringing them closer to the heart of its mysteries. They encountered ancient guardians and wise spirits, each offering cryptic guidance and arcane knowledge that hinted at the true nature of the forest's power. And then, one fateful day, 
they stumbled upon a hidden chamber deep within the heart of Ravenwood Forest, its walls adorned with intricate carvings and symbols that seemed to pulse with a life of their own. As they stepped into the chamber, a sense of awe washed over them, for they knew that they had stumbled upon something truly extraordinary. For within the chamber lay the key to unlocking the secrets of Ravenwood Forest a relic of untold power that had long been lost to the annals of time. With trembling hands, they reached out to touch the relic, their fingers brushing against its smooth surface as if drawn by some unseen force. And then, in a blinding flash of light, the forest seemed to come alive around them, its ancient trees swaying and dancing in a joyous celebration of their discovery. Whispers filled the air, their voices mingling with the rustling of leaves as they spoke of a prophecy long foretold a prophecy that spoke of a chosen few who would unlock the true potential of Ravenwood Forest and bring balance to the world once more. With their newfound knowledge and the power of the relic at their fingertips, the group set out on a journey that would take them beyond the borders of Ravenwood Forest and into the heart of the world itself. They traveled far and wide, their quest leading them to distant lands and forgotten realms, each step bringing them closer to the fulfillment of the prophecy and the ultimate truth that lay hidden within the depths of Ravenwood Forest. But their journey was not without its challenges, for dark forces lurked in the shadows, seeking to thwart their efforts at every turn. They faced trials and tribulations beyond imagination, battling against ancient evils and malevolent spirits that sought to consume them in darkness. Yet, through it all, they remained steadfast in their resolve, their bonds of friendship growing stronger with each obstacle they overcame. And as they neared the culmination of their quest, they knew that their journey was far from over, for the true test of their courage and strength still lay ahead. But they faced the future with heads held high, knowing that they had faced their fears and emerged stronger for it. And as they stood on the precipice of destiny, ready to confront whatever challenges lay ahead, they knew that they would always carry with them the memory of their journey through the haunted depths of Ravenwood Forest, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of unspeakable horror. As they ventured deeper into their quest, the group encountered challenges that tested not only their physical abilities but also their bonds of friendship and their inner strength. From treacherous mountain passes to enchanted forests, they faced obstacles that seemed insurmountable at times. But with each trial they overcame, their resolve grew stronger, fueled by the knowledge that they were fighting for something greater than themselves. They encountered allies along the way wise sages, powerful sorcerers, and noble warriors who offered guidance and assistance in their quest to unlock the secrets of Ravenwood Forest. As they journeyed on, the group began to unravel the mysteries of the relic they had discovered in the heart of the forest. They learned of its ancient origins and the role it played in maintaining the balance between the mortal realm and the world of spirits. With each piece of the puzzle they uncovered, they came closer to understanding their true purpose and the significance of their journey. But their progress was not without setbacks. Dark forces continued to oppose them at every turn, seeking to claim the relic for their own nefarious purposes. They faced fierce battles and cunning adversaries, their every move watched by unseen eyes that sought to thwart their efforts and plunge the world into darkness once more. Yet, despite the dangers that surrounded them, the group pressed on, their determination unwavering in the face of adversity. They drew strength from each other, relying on their bonds of friendship and the trust they had built over the years to see them through the darkest of times. And then, at long last, they reached the culmination of their journey a hidden temple hidden deep within the heart of the world, where the true power of the relic awaited them. With trembling hands, they approached the temple's entrance, their hearts filled with a mix of anticipation and fear. As they stepped into the temple's sacred halls, they were greeted by a sight that took their breath away. The walls were adorned with intricate carvings and murals that depicted scenes from the history of the world, each telling a story of triumph and tragedy, of light and darkness, of the eternal struggle between good and evil. And at the heart of the temple, bathed in a soft golden light, lay the relic they had sought for so long. It pulsed with a power that seemed to resonate with the very essence of the world itself, its energy filling the air with a sense of awe and wonder. With trembling hands, they approached the relic, their fingers brushing against its smooth surface as if drawn by some unseen force. And then, in a blinding flash of light, the relic activated, its power surging forth in a dazzling display of magic and energy. 
In that moment, the group understood the true significance of their journey. They had not only unlocked the secrets of Ravenwood Forest but had also played a pivotal role in shaping the destiny of the world itself. With the relic in their possession, they held the key to restoring balance and harmony to the world, to banishing the darkness and ushering in a new era of peace and prosperity. But their quest was far from over. As they emerged from the temple, they knew that their true challenge lay ahead to harness the power of the relic and wield it against the forces of darkness that threatened to engulf the world. And as they set out on their final journey, they did so with heads held high and hearts filled with hope, knowing that they carried with them the legacy of their journey through the haunted depths of Ravenwood Forest, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of unspeakable horror. As they stood on the threshold of their final challenge, the group felt a surge of anticipation coursing through their veins. With the relic in their possession, they were unstoppable, their hearts filled with a sense of purpose and determination that drove them forward with renewed vigor. But their triumph was short-lived, for as they emerged from the temple, they were confronted by a darkness unlike any they had ever seen before. A shadowy figure, cloaked in darkness and wielding unimaginable power, stood before them, its eyes burning with malevolent intent. With a voice that echoed through the chamber like thunder, the figure spoke of a prophecy long foretold a prophecy that spoke of a chosen one who would wield the power of the relic and bring about the end of days. And as the figure raised its hand to strike, the group knew that they were facing their greatest challenge yet. With a battle cry that shook the very foundations of the temple, the group charged forward, their weapons drawn and their hearts filled with courage. Spells were cast, and blades clashed as they fought against the darkness with all the strength and determination they could muster. But the shadowy figure was relentless, its power unmatched by anything they had ever faced before. It seemed to anticipate their every move, countering their attacks with a precision that left them reeling. Just when all hope seemed lost, a voice rang out from the depths of the temple a voice filled with wisdom and compassion, speaking words of guidance and hope. With renewed determination, the group pressed on, drawing strength from the voice that echoed in their hearts. And then, in a blinding flash of light, the shadowy figure faltered, its form flickering and wavering like a candle in the wind. With one final push, the group unleashed the full power of the relic, channeling its energy into a devastating blow that shattered the darkness and banished the shadowy figure from existence. As the dust settled and the echoes of battle faded into the silence of the temple, the group stood victorious, their hearts filled with pride at having overcome the greatest challenge of their lives. With the relic in their possession, they knew that they held the key to shaping the destiny of the world and ushering in a new era of peace and prosperity. And as they emerged from the temple, bathed in the warm glow of the setting sun, they knew that their journey was far from over. For though the darkness had been vanquished, the world still held many mysteries waiting to be uncovered, adventures waiting to be had. But they faced the future with heads held high and hearts filled with hope, knowing that no matter what trials lay ahead, they would face them together, bound by the unbreakable bonds of friendship forged in the fires of adversity. And as they set out on their next adventure, they did so with the knowledge that they had triumphed over darkness itself, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of unspeakable horror. Deep in the heart of the sprawling Blackwood Hollow, where the trees stood tall and ancient, there existed a tale whispered in hushed tones by those brave enough to venture near its borders. It was a story of an old campsite, long abandoned by the living but rumored to be inhabited by the restless spirits of the past. A group of adventurous souls, undeterred by the warnings of the locals, decided to spend a weekend camping at the site, eager for a thrill and seeking to unravel the mysteries that shrouded Blackwood Hollow. They pitched their tents beneath the canopy of ancient trees, their laughter echoing through the stillness of the forest. As night fell and darkness enveloped the campsite, a sense of unease settled over the group. Strange noises echoed through the woods, and shadows danced menacingly in the flickering firelight. But they brushed aside their fears, attributing the unsettling atmosphere to the natural eerie ambience of the forest. As the hours passed, however, their unease grew, fueled by the inexplicable sensations that prickled at the back of their necks. Whispers seemed to float on the breeze, carrying with them words of warning and despair. And then, in the dead of night, 
they heard it the unmistakable sound of footsteps crunching on leaves, drawing closer and closer to their campsite. Panic gripped the group as they huddled together, their eyes wide with fear. They searched the darkness for any sign of the source of the footsteps but found nothing. And then, as suddenly as it had begun, the footsteps ceased, leaving behind an oppressive silence that seemed to smother the very air around them. With trembling hands, they stoked the fire, seeking solace in its flickering warmth. But their efforts were in vain, for the darkness had already taken root in their hearts, feeding on their fears and growing stronger with each passing moment. And then, as if in response to their terror, the forest itself seemed to come alive, its ancient trees groaning and creaking as if possessed by some unseen force. Shadows danced among the branches, twisting and writhing in grotesque shapes that sent shivers down their spines. In a desperate bid to escape the encroaching darkness, they made a fateful decision to leave the safety of their campsite and venture deeper into the forest. With flashlights in hand, they stumbled through the undergrowth, their hearts pounding in their chests as they fought to outrun the horrors that pursued them. But the forest was a maze of twisted paths and hidden dangers, and with each step they took, they found themselves drawn further into its clutches. The whispers grew louder, their voices filled with malice and despair, echoing through the darkness like a chorus of lost souls crying out for release. And then, just when all hope seemed lost, they stumbled upon an ancient ruin hidden deep within the heart of the forest. Its crumbling walls stood as a testament to the passage of time, its secrets buried beneath layers of moss and ivy. With nowhere else to turn, they sought refuge within the shelter of the ruin, their breath coming in ragged gasps as they waited for the inevitable. But to their astonishment, the whispers ceased, replaced by an eerie silence that seemed to stretch on for eternity. For hours, they waited, their senses on high alert as they braced themselves for the horrors that lurked in the darkness outside. But as the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, they dared to hope that they had survived the night and scathed. As they emerged from the ruin, blinking in the pale light of dawn, they found themselves standing on the edge of a clearing bathed in sunlight. The trees around them stood tall and silent, their branches swaying gently in the morning breeze. And then, as if by magic, the forest seemed to come alive with the sound of birdsong and rustling leaves, its dark and foreboding atmosphere replaced by a sense of peace and tranquility. With trembling hands and hearts filled with gratitude, they made their way out of Blackwood Hollow, vowing never to return to the haunted forest that had nearly claimed their lives. But as they looked back one last time, they knew that the memory of their harrowing ordeal would stay with them forever, a reminder of the darkness that lurked within the heart of Blackwood Hollow and the strength of the human spirit in the face of unspeakable horror. As they emerged from Blackwood Hollow, the group's nerves were frayed, their minds still reeling from the horrors they had encountered within the haunted forest. Yet, despite their ordeal, they felt a strange sense of exhilaration, as if they had glimpsed a world beyond the realm of the living and returned to tell the tale. As they made their way back to civilization, they found themselves haunted by the memories of their night in Blackwood Hollow. Strange dreams plagued their sleep, filled with whispers and shadows that seemed to reach out from the darkness to ensnare them once more. Determined to make sense of their experience, they sought out the wisdom of the locals, hoping to uncover the truth behind the legends that shrouded Blackwood Hollow. But the villagers were reticent to speak of the forest's dark secrets, their eyes filled with fear at the mere mention of its name. Undeterred, the group delved deeper into the history of Blackwood Hollow, poring over ancient manuscripts and dusty tomes in search of answers. And as they pieced together the fragments of the past, they uncovered a tale of tragedy and loss that spanned centuries. Legend spoke of a powerful sorceress who once dwelled within the depths of Blackwood Hollow, her dark magic corrupting the very land upon which the forest stood. Consumed by her thirst for power, she made a pact with the forces of darkness, binding her soul to the forest for all eternity. But as her power grew, so too did the darkness that consumed her, twisting her into a malevolent spirit bent on wreaking havoc upon the world of the living. And though she was banished from the mortal realm, her spirit lingered on, trapped within the confines of Blackwood Hollow, forever cursed to wander its shadowy depths. Armed with this newfound knowledge, the group returned to Blackwood Hollow, determined to confront the darkness that lurked within its depths. 
Armed with ancient incantations and talismans of protection, they ventured forth into the heart of the forest, ready to do battle with the forces of evil that threatened to consume them. But as they delved deeper into the forest, they soon realized that the darkness was not so easily vanquished. Shadows danced among the trees, twisting and writhing in the moonlight, while whispers filled the air, taunting them with their cryptic words. Yet, despite the overwhelming odds, they pressed on, their resolve unyielding in the face of unspeakable horror. And as they confronted the sorceress within her lair, they unleashed a barrage of spells and incantations, their voices raised in defiance against the darkness that sought to consume them. In a blinding flash of light, the sorceress was banished from the mortal realm, her spirit cast back into the void from whence it came. And as the darkness lifted from Blackwood Hollow, the forest seemed to sigh with relief, its ancient trees standing tall and proud once more. With their mission accomplished, the group emerged from Blackwood Hollow victorious, their hearts filled with pride at having defeated the darkness that had once threatened to consume them. And as they looked back at the forest one last time, they knew that their ordeal had forged bonds that would never be broken, binding them together in a bond stronger than any magic. In the aftermath of their confrontation with the sorceress, the group found themselves forever changed by their experiences within Blackwood Hollow. Though they had emerged victorious, the memory of their harrowing ordeal lingered on, a constant reminder of the darkness that lurked within the heart of the forest. As they made their way back to civilization, they found themselves hailed as heroes, their names whispered in awe by those who had heard tales of their bravery. Yet, despite the accolades, they knew that their journey was far from over, for the scars of their encounter with the sorceress ran deep, etched into their very souls. Determined to put the past behind them, they vowed to live each day to its fullest, cherishing the moments they had together and never taking anything for granted. And as the years passed, they found solace in the bonds of friendship that had been forged in the crucible of their shared ordeal, drawing strength from each other in times of need. But try as they might, they could never quite shake the feeling that Blackwood Hollow still held secrets yet to be uncovered, its ancient trees whispering tales of times long past and mysteries yet unsolved. And so, they returned to the forest time and time again, seeking answers to the questions that continue to haunt their dreams. With each visit, they delved deeper into the heart of Blackwood Hollow, uncovering hidden truths and unlocking the secrets of its dark past. And though the journey was fraught with danger and uncertainty, they pressed on, driven by an insatiable thirst for knowledge and a desire to uncover the truth. Yet, for all their efforts, there were some secrets that remained forever out of reach, locked away in the depths of the forest where even the bravest dared not tread. And as they stood on the edge of Blackwood Hollow, gazing into its dark and forbidding depths, they knew that some mysteries were best left unsolved, lest they awaken forces beyond their control. And so, they bid farewell to Blackwood Hollow, their hearts heavy with the weight of all they had seen and experienced within its shadowy confines. But even as they turned their backs on the haunted forest, they knew that its memory would forever linger in their minds, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of unspeakable horror. Years passed, and the group drifted apart, each going their separate ways as life took them down different paths. Yet, the bonds they had forged in the darkness of Blackwood Hollow remained unbreakable, weaving a thread of connection that stretched across the miles and years. Some found solace in the quiet rhythms of everyday life, settling down with families of their own and building a future far removed from the horrors they had witnessed in the forest. Others continued to seek adventure and excitement, their thirst for knowledge driving them to explore new frontiers and unravel the mysteries of the world. But no matter where life took them, they carried with them the lessons they had learned in Blackwood Hollow lessons of courage, resilience, and the enduring power of friendship. And though they may have walked different paths, their destinies forever intertwined, bound together by the shared experiences that had shaped their lives. And then, one fateful day, a message arrived a call to arms from an old friend, beckoning them back to Blackwood Hollow once more. The forest was stirring, its ancient trees whispering of a darkness that threatened to engulf the world in shadow. United once more by a common purpose, the group set out on a journey that would test their courage and strength like never before. Armed with the knowledge they had gained over the years, they ventured forth into the heart of Blackwood Hollow, ready to confront the darkness that lurked within.
but as they delved deeper into the forest, they soon realized that this time, the stakes were higher than ever before. For the darkness had grown stronger in their absence, its malevolent presence spreading like a cancer through the heart of the forest. With each step they took, they felt the weight of the darkness pressing down upon them, threatening to consume them whole. But they refused to falter, drawing strength from the bonds of friendship that had carried them through so many trials before. And then, at long last, they reached the heart of Blackwood Hollow, where the source of the darkness awaited them a creature of pure malevolence, its eyes glowing with an unholy light as it prepared to unleash its fury upon the world. But they were not alone. For standing by their side were the spirits of those who had fallen before them, their voices raised in a chorus of defiance against the darkness that sought to destroy them. With a battle cry that echoed through the forest, they charged forward, their weapons flashing in the dim light as they faced down the darkness with all the strength and courage they could muster. And as the final blow was struck, the darkness shattered like glass, its malevolent presence dissipating into the ether as the forest sighed with relief. The group stood victorious, their hearts filled with triumph as they looked out upon the newly cleansed Blackwood Hollow. But their victory had come at a cost, for not all had survived the battle. As they mourned the loss of their fallen comrades, they knew that their sacrifice had not been in vain, for they had saved not only Blackwood Hollow but the world itself from the darkness that threatened to consume it. And as they stood beneath the shadowy canopy of the ancient trees, they knew that their journey was far from over. For though the darkness had been vanquished, the world was still a place filled with mysteries and dangers yet to be faced. But they faced the future with heads held high, knowing that no matter what trials lay ahead, they would face them together, bound by the unbreakable bonds of friendship forged in the darkness of Blackwood Hollow. As the last echoes of battle faded into the stillness of the forest, a sense of peace descended upon Blackwood Hollow. The ancient trees stood tall and proud once more, their branches swaying gently in the breeze as if rejoicing in the newfound light that bathed their leafy canopy. With the darkness vanquished and the threat to the world averted, the group stood united in the heart of the forest, their hearts filled with a sense of pride and accomplishment. They had faced the ultimate challenge and emerged victorious, their courage and determination shining brightly in the face of adversity. But as they prepared to depart from Blackwood Hollow, a sense of foreboding lingered in the air, a whisper of the unknown that stirred the depths of their souls. For though the immediate threat had been dealt with, they knew that the world was still a place filled with dangers yet to be faced. And so, as they turned their backs on the haunted forest for the final time, they did so with a renewed sense of purpose, knowing that their journey was far from over. For wherever darkness threatened to rise again, they would be there to stand against it, united in their resolve to protect the world from the forces of evil. And as they disappeared into the dappled light of the forest, their footsteps echoing through the trees, they knew that their adventures were far from over. For in a world filled with mystery and magic, there would always be new challenges waiting to be faced, new battles waiting to be won. But no matter what trials lay ahead, they would face them together, bound by the unbreakable bonds of friendship forged in the darkness of Blackwood Hollow. And as long as they stood united, they knew that no darkness could ever hope to prevail against the light of their unwavering courage and determination. Once, deep in the heart of the ancient whispering woods, there stood a campsite notorious among locals for its dark history. The air was thick with an eerie silence, broken only by the occasional rustle of leaves and the haunting whispers that seemed to emanate from the very trees themselves. A group of adventurous friends decided to spend a weekend camping at this foreboding site, eager for thrills and excitement. Ignoring the warnings of the locals, they set up their tents beneath the shadowy canopy of the trees. As night fell, a sense of unease settled over the campsite. Strange noises echoed through the woods, and shadows danced menacingly in the flickering firelight. Despite their growing apprehension, the friends laughed and joked, trying to ignore the creeping sense of dread that gnawed at their hearts. But as the hours passed, their mirth turned to fear. Whispers began to fill the air, chilling and malevolent. They seemed to come from all around, speaking words that were ancient and incomprehensible. Panic gripped the campers as they huddled together, their minds reeling with terror. Suddenly, a figure emerged from the darkness, its form shrouded in shadow. 
It moved with an unnatural grace, gliding through the trees like a specter of the night. The campers watched in horror as it drew closer, its eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light. With a blood-curdling scream, they fled into the night, their footsteps echoing through the silent woods. But no matter how fast they ran, the whispers followed, taunting them with their cryptic words. To this day, the whispering woods remain untouched by human hands, a dark and forbidding place where the spirits of the past linger on, whispering their secrets to those foolish enough to listen. The group ran blindly through the tangled undergrowth, branches clawing at their clothes and thorns tearing at their skin. Their hearts pounded in their chests, and their breath came in ragged gasps as they desperately sought an escape from the nightmare that pursued them. But no matter how far they ran, they could not shake the feeling that they were being watched. Shadows flitted through the trees, and the whispers seemed to follow them, growing louder and more insistent with each passing moment. Exhausted and disoriented, they stumbled upon an old, dilapidated cabin hidden deep within the woods. With no other refuge in sight, they threw open the creaking door and rushed inside, hoping to find safety within its decaying walls. But the cabin was no sanctuary. The air inside was heavy with the stench of decay, and the floorboards creaked ominously beneath their feet. As they huddled together in the dim light of a flickering lantern, they realized with dawning horror that they were not alone. Shapes moved in the darkness, their eyes glowing with a malevolent light. Hands reached out from the shadows, cold and clammy to the touch. The whispers grew louder, filling the cabin with their hateful words. In a frenzy of fear, the campers fought back against the encroaching darkness, their screams echoing through the cabin as they struggled to defend themselves against the unseen horrors that surrounded them. But it was futile. One by one, they were overcome by the relentless onslaught, their bodies dragged into the depths of the forest to be consumed by the ancient evil that dwelled within. And as the first light of dawn broke over the whispering woods, the cabin stood empty once more, a silent sentinel to the horrors that lurked within its walls. As the sun rose timidly over the horizon, casting feeble rays of light through the dense canopy of trees, a sense of eerie calm descended upon the whispering woods. The cabin, now devoid of any signs of the previous night's terror, stood as a grim reminder of the darkness that lurked within. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, but the events of that fateful night remained etched in the memories of those who dared to venture near the whispering woods. Locals whispered tales of the cursed cabin and the unfortunate souls who had met their demise within its walls, warning others to steer clear of the haunted forest. Despite the warnings, there were always those who were drawn to the allure of the unknown, tempted by the thrill of exploring forbidden territory. But each time someone dared to venture into the whispering woods, they were met with the same fate as those who had come before them, their screams joining the chorus of the restless spirits that haunted the forest. And so, the whispering woods remained untouched by humanity, a desolate and forbidding place where the darkness reigned supreme. Those who knew of its secrets dared not speak of them, lest they too become entangled in the web of horror that ensnared all who dared to tread within its boundaries. But the whispers persisted, carried on the wind through the twisted branches of the ancient trees, a haunting reminder of the terror that lay hidden within the depths of the forest. And as night fell once more, the darkness stirred, ready to claim its next victim in the endless cycle of fear and despair that gripped the whispering woods. As the seasons passed, the whispering woods became a place of dread and fascination, shrouded in mystery and whispered tales. Visitors from distant lands came seeking the truth behind the legends, drawn by the allure of the unknown and the promise of unearthly encounters. Among those who braved the treacherous depths of the forest was a team of intrepid researchers, determined to unravel the secrets that lay hidden within its ancient confines. Armed with scientific equipment and a steely resolve, they ventured forth into the heart of the whispering woods, prepared to confront whatever horrors awaited them. Days turned into nights as they delved deeper into the forest, their senses attuned to the slightest whisper or movement in the darkness. But as they ventured further from the safety of civilization, they found themselves increasingly ensnared by the sinister forces that lurked within. Strange phenomena plagued their every step, from inexplicable fluctuations in temperature to disembodied voices echoing through the trees. 
Despite their rational minds, the researchers couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched, as if the very forest itself were alive and sentient. And then, one fateful night, they stumbled upon a long-forgotten clearing hidden deep within the woods. At its center stood a towering oak tree, its gnarled branches twisting skyward like grasping fingers. Beneath its shadowy canopy lay the remains of an ancient ritual, its purpose lost to the mists of time. As they investigated the site, a sense of dread washed over them, accompanied by a deafening silence that seemed to suffocate the very air around them. And then, in the darkness, they heard it the faintest whisper, barely audible above the rustling of leaves. In that moment, they knew they had unearthed something far more sinister than they had ever imagined. For the whispering woods held secrets that no mortal should ever uncover, secrets that had lain dormant for centuries, waiting for the right moment to unleash their unholy wrath upon the world. And as the researchers fled from the forest, their minds reeling with terror, they knew that they had glimpsed only a fraction of the horrors that lay hidden within the depths of the whispering woods. For in that cursed place, the darkness held sway, and none who dared to challenge it could hope to emerge unscathed. With pounding hearts and adrenaline coursing through their veins, the researchers raced through the labyrinthine paths of the whispering woods, pursued by unseen forces that seemed to draw closer with every passing moment. As they reached the edge of the forest, the darkness loomed ominously behind them, its tendrils reaching out to ensnare them in its grasp. But just when all hope seemed lost, a blinding light erupted from the heavens, piercing the inky blackness like a beacon of hope in the night. With a deafening roar, a powerful gust of wind swept through the forest, scattering the shadows and banishing the darkness back into the depths from whence it came. And as the researchers emerged from the forest, battered but victorious, they knew that they had triumphed over evil itself. But the Whispering Woods would always remain a place of mystery and danger, its secrets guarded by the spirits that dwelled within. And though the researchers had escaped with their lives, they would forever carry the memory of their harrowing ordeal, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of unspeakable horror. And so, as they gazed back at the forest one last time, they knew that they had faced their fears and emerged stronger for it. For in the end, it was not the darkness that defined them, but the light that shone within their souls, guiding them through the darkest of nights and into the dawn of a new day.